Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for a Disappointed Heart by Christina Fox I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33 The world tells us that we can do whatever we put our mind to do. If we wish hard enough, we can click our heels and end up wherever our heart desires most. There are some Christians who say the same thing, that Jesus is their spiritual candy machine, dispensing dreams and hopes at the push of a prayer. They say that God wants us to be happy and wants us to have everything we've ever wanted. We just need to believe and pray harder. But the reality of our Christian life speaks otherwise. Disappointment is part of life in this fallen world. As believers, we shouldn't be surprised when things don't work out, when we face difficulty, or when life is disappointing. That's because Adam fell into sin. We all fell into sin. The imprint of sin is on everything. Even the earth itself groans with the weight of it. We apply for a job and are told we aren't qualified. We work hard for promotion only to have someone else get it. We've turned 30 and there's no ring on our finger. We finally have enough money to buy our first house, only to be outbid by someone else. A pregnancy test comes back negative. We feel left out of community in our church. Our children struggle in school, choosing the wrong friends, or have no interest in spiritual things. The ministry we work so hard to create never gets off the ground. Indeed, the disappointments in this life are too many to count. But there's gospel hope even in the midst of our disappointments. As Jesus said, in this world you will have sorrow, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Jesus said we will have sorrow. We will have disappointments and heartaches. Anyone who tells us otherwise is preaching a false gospel. But Jesus also pointed to our hope. I have overcome the world. Our hope and joy and contentment are not found in the things of this world, but in Christ and what he has accomplished for us. God is preparing us now, in this life, for eternity. He uses our struggles and challenges to sanctify us and make us holy. He is making us increasingly more like Christ by stripping away the layers of sin and removing the counterfeit loves in our heart. So when disappointments come, we can ask ourselves, What might God be doing? What do I need to learn from this? How can I seek Him in this? And rather than despair over our disappointments, we can remember that what disappoints us now will in the end make us more like our Savior. James 1, 2-4 Is life disappointing you today? Cry out to God in prayer. Father in heaven, I come before you with a heart weighed down by disappointments. Life hasn't turned out like I expected. I feel let down, like I've been failed in some way. I don't know what to do with these disappointments. Part of me wants to complain, part of me wants to give up in despair, and part of me wonders, why do I even bother? Yet even as I ask this, your spirit prompts me in remembrance of your word. I know why life is disappointing. I know that it's not supposed to be this way. You created everything to work together in perfect harmony. But ever since that day when my first parents ate the fruit you told them not to eat, life has been marred and broken by sin. Disappointments rule the day. Everything from the earth itself to my body, to relationships, to my dreams, they all fail to work the way they are supposed to. Father, forgive me for complaining about my situation. Forgive me for wallowing in my self-pity. Forgive me for my discontentment. Yes, I know why life is disappointing and I should not be surprised. But what do I do with these disappointments? 
How do I wake up every day knowing that life will not work the way it is supposed to, and that a struggle or trial will appear at some time in my future? Your spirit prompts me again and I remember your son, the man of sorrows. He knew the disappointments of this life. Your word says he was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Isaiah 53, 3. He willingly entered this dark world filled with brokenness, pain, sin, and sorrow. He took on the same weak flesh that I wear. He experienced everything I experience, yet he did not sin. He did what I cannot do. He woke up every morning knowing that it was one day closer to the day he would give up his life for me, and he willingly took those steps forward for me. And then when the time had come, he took on all my sin at the cross, suffering the curse I deserved. In that moment, he reversed the curse that started the day Eve bit into the flesh of that forbidden fruit. I thank you, Father, for providing a way out of that curse. I thank you that because of your Son, I have the hope of heaven and eternity with you forever. I long for the day when all things will be restored to its rightful place where there will be no more disappointments and sorrows, and I'll be finally freed of my sin forever. Help me, Father, to have an eternal perspective. Help me to see my disappointments in light of what Jesus purchased for me at the cross. Help me to seize those disappointments as opportunities to draw closer to you and not away from you. Help me to learn from them. Help them to shape me more and more into the image of your Son. Help me to see Jesus in them and to see his love and grace for me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.